What's going on guys and for the win here we are back with our franchise mode as the Detroit Red Wings and here we are at the trade deadline buyers or sellers you guys are saying buyers now when it comes to what's available not a whole ton but at least trade block wise however we are on the up and up. There are some things, and I want to, I was taking a look at something that I wasn't initially going to do. But, with Gustav Nyquist, uh, I think we offered him around like f under five. Spurgeon, maybe, maybe I, don't, I forget, but we should be saving money on a lot of these guys, essentially. And we still have 6.7 mil right now. Uh, if Subban gets off contract... We sh mm. Komisarek, sh maybe we'll be ready for backup. If not, we can get a cheap guy. Entry levels, two more years. I'm just, uh, I'm looking at a few things here. Just because there's a risky player to maybe take. Also, Dekais will be off contract. We'll have 52 mil next year. Well, these haven't gone through, so that'll decrease. Anyway, um, Merrill also will be off contract, definitely. We're not getting him back. I think we'll be pretty okay to do this if I decide to go for it. Or we can keep looking. Now, let me show you, because again, I'm sure you guys are like, what the hell are you talking about? Just just show us. What, what are you thinking? So, block-wise... There's Vlasic and Burns. Now, we don't have a scoring presence on the blue line. Burns is still signed for three more years after this. Risky. But could help us for like two years. And the third year is kind of a, yeah, it sucks to have that contract. But he could also drop a shit ton in this first year. It's a tough call. There's also Vlasic. It's a bit safer, but two more years. Well, no, no, an extra year, which would mean four more years after this one. Yeah, and it's, again, doesn't help our scoring presence. Now, that's one thing I'm thinking of. Grabbing Burns doesn't cost a whole lot value-wise, and we wouldn't have to give up anything crazy to snag him. Pretty much nothing crazy at all. Like, maybe this guy plus something else. You know, nothing too bad. So we'll see. I'm not going to say I'm going to pull the trigger on this at all. Oh, we'd have too many skaters. We'd actually have to give someone back under contract. Not a big deal, but... Twenty-three. Is this guy even anything? I don't think so. Why is he signed? Who knows? We can send back like that to get the roster thing. And then from there, we could throw in the starting goaltender, Hedstrom. And that would be enough to grab Brent Burns. Now again, the contract, slight issue, but we should be okay with it for the next couple years. It should not put us in cap hell. We should be okay. We will have to sign Larkin and Mantha after another year, though. So that's a thing. So that... It's tough to say on that. Or we can go for something bigger that won't decline and be actually well worth the cash. And defense seems to be the thing to go for. Like Eric Carlson. Like, I mean, yeah, we could go for that. They don't want to give him up. But it's a better contract. Less term. And I mean, he's done, not having a great year, but their team isn't that great. And the contract makes a whole hell of a lot more sense. And it would make sense maybe for the Sharks to want to trade this guy now. They got Vlasic Burns on the block. Like, they're looking like they're rebuilding here for the most part. Or at least trying to retool. It would make a little bit of sense. And to grab him, you'd throw in fair. Like, they want all these young type of guys. Yeah, we'd still have to take back a contract, but... 
Uh, probably that defensive prospect still, since we're grabbing a defenseman. Those two, plus something else still, definitely. And might even take a whole hell of a lot more. But... If possible, I would like to do that. It would be a solid move to make. Now we got multiple of these top six, or er, yeah, a couple top six guys. Now I do like how these centers are panning out. This guy's a playmaker. I would say we go for Valeno, who's actually two way forward now. Okay, um, but yeah, actually way better being a two way forward could be a th so throwing that guy too. We get rid of all that, take back a player, try to get something like this. We could use him for at least a few years. Oh no, do we have to give a, no, we have to give a player, my bad. It's not them, it's me. We'd still have to throw in one, this guy, who doesn't matter. So, it's a kind of a rental, it helps us now, but it helps us a lot in, in the next few years as well. And we could even sign him after that. So I'll show you kind of what I'm thinking here. That bolsters our, our, our top four a lot. We could shift some guys down. Hronik's injured right now. Our young guns are staying in the AHL. But guys coming off contract equal Merrill and DeKaiser. So immediately fill those spots. Hronik, you know, it's, he's a bit of a question mark. I'd like to hold on to him. He could be a solid top sixer, but... It does improve us a whole lot for now and a little bit in the future. So, let's see what they say to this. They want all three of these guys. Yeah, they don't want to give up Carlson. Yeah. But they want all three. If we're, if we're going to go for anyone who's capable for the next few years, it has to be a lot. Because, well, no one wants to give up guys like this. And it makes sense. And we could give up the starting goaltender in this as well. It's not a huge deal. Those guys are essentially dime a dozen. So, we'll throw him in there as well. And it's still not close, they're saying. So that's part of the reason I was thinking Burns, but it's it's hugely risky. It's insanely risky. Now we only have nine picks for this year. We can still get more picks, but like if we do something like this, we're not gonna have all the picks. Like, even if we throw in the first, like that's not enough. Like, yeah, you can see where it's all it's it's a tough situation. It pretty much has to be probably an elite prospect and another elite prospect if we're being completely honest otherwise you ain't getting Gary Carlson that makes a whole lot of sense byfield is a possibility however it leads us in a tough spot so I don't think we're get, we're, we can go for someone that big it's just there's just not enough there so I'm going to keep I have a few more ideas and I'll get back to you guys a sec off to find them all right, so here is another idea. Justin Falk. Carolina not doing too good. And the reason they might want to give up a Justin Falk is... Well, let's just do trade value here. Things like this. Jake Bean, uh, Volchenkov, Hamilton, Flurry, Slavin, Soderstrom, Gardner. Like, it's there's a distinct possibility they'd want to give him up. Being one of the older guys in that defensive core as well. Four years left on the contract. Very good price. We won't have to worry about anything. And a bit less value. So this is what I'm starting off with. That top four guy as well as the elite goaltender fair. And that guy too for the contract thing. We'll see what they say to this. They're not going to accept it. But I just want to see um, where how much more we need to throw in there. If I could just throw the starting goaltender in there and be good. Or if I have to throw that top six guy in there as well. But this would be something I could go for. And again, it helps us helps us for the for the near future as well. So still not what they need. <laughs> Alright. Where's that center playmaker dude? Reed. Throw him in. That sucks to throw him in. He's growing so well. But fact of the matter is we have Larkin. We got Hughes. We're good. So, is that enough? Too far off. We're getting closer, I feel like, but it's still. Still not there. And that's, dude, that's a lot. Yes, his value is high, but that is quite a bit. 
like I said, it almost has to be one of these guys. It's going to be extremely difficult to get something. We'd almost have to throw in Byfield. And I don't think I'm quite to that point where I want to do that at all. But really, we don't have many options. Pick from next year doesn't have much more value than this one. They don't want the pick. All skaters, I mean, that's kind of it. Unless we threw in, like, buddy, no, I mean, this is kind of it. If we can't ma somehow make this go through, we're SOL. And it, by the looks of it, we're kind of SOL on getting someone this good. So if we, keep, it'll have to be Burns, and that seems really risky. I really don't want to give up Byfield if I don't have to. I might have to. It just might be how it goes. But in my opinion, man, only 86 overall for the dude, or 87. Ah. The good news is, uh, no, 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 this guy isn't signed. Never mind. Reed is not signed. Neither is this guy. So I was going to say, oh, maybe I, could, I would have to trade Valeno to be able to move that. Unless I moved someone who's signed, which we don't really have. This is, yeah, I we can't make this go through. Then we're kind of stuck. This is about it. <laughs> It's hard. It's hard to make trades like this when people aren't on the block. You have to actually overextend unless we go for burns. And I don't know if our need is dire enough to make me do that. It might be, but he also might drop to top six potential, fall even more, and then the contract is god-awful. Now, it's extremely rare to be able to get teams to <laughs> retain salary, especially on multi-year left, but I'm going to try it here with Burnsy. If we can get him for four, like even six mil, if I can get him to retain a little bit, it could be worth it. And maybe if I overextend, if I throw the elite goalie in there who we're not going to use whatsoever and who likely will lose value over time, then it might be worth it. But for right now, we're going to try the top four, the starter, and the roster guy we have to throw in. Yeah, they're not, they don't want to retain. It would work. Let's decrease it a little bit. I want to see if I can get him to at least, if I can't get him to retain two mil on this trade, then I won't do it, and I'll try it four mil with the with the elite. No, okay. They really don't want to retain. Again, it's it's near impossible to get guys to retain contracts sometimes, <laughs> especially with well most of the time. So hold on to him. Throw in the elite goaltender now. Fair. Now, I might be able to hold on to him. But we'll see. We'll see. Let's see. All right. If I can get him to retain four mil by trading this guy, hell yes. It will be a much more manageable situation for us. They did it. Okay. You know what? Fine with that. I'm absolutely fine with that. Yeah. Okay. You know what? We're not going to likely use that goaltender. He likely will lose value. We got Burns for only four mil. And I'm completely okay with this. So yes, we don't have a great backup anymore. He was doing great in the AHL. He had like 2.35 goals against. He was, he was doing fine. Nothing wrong with him. He's doing good. But we needed that help on D. So here we go. We got some stuff to switch around now. So let's uh, scratch Hicketts here. Let's do a quick swap on everything. Scratch Merrill. Merrill goes in for Hicketts. There. Scratch. Sp yeah, Scratch Spurgeon. Jared Spurgeon. All right, Scratch him. Put him in there. And then we'll sub Burnsy in. Ooh. Interesting. Hold on. Was he not on the power play? Sub Burnsy in there. Oh, no, no, yeah, 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 we have the other, what? Did I have the other guy on the power play? Whatever. Brodine burns now top power play. So, veteran guy, 
<laughs> 35 years old. Put him in here too. I don't know why it didn't switch the way I thought it should have. But it didn't, so whatever. Spurgeon, Merrill. Yeah, that's fine. I like the penalty kill like that. Extras though, it's yeah, it's doing a thing. <laughs> I don't know why it's why it's doing that. Whatever, dude. I thought I did that correct. Maybe I didn't, but we need to make the playoffs here. I'll usually edit this out, but this should be actually quick. So Chalowski, this should be the last one, essentially. Except for this. Alright, and now we are set. So there we go. Line set edited. Alright, so we're only paying him four mil now, which is way better. Way better. And this guy will bring he bolsters our defensive cord, lets us spread out some of our some of our uh, uh, lines a bit. And he should help bring offense, which we kind of do need at the same time. So what was going to be a super risky trade, we are able to find a way to make it not as risky. And we held on to more key prospects. Not super, super key, but, you know, trade value is trade value. So there we go. Pretty active trade deadline. A lot of wheeling and dealing had to happen to make that go through. Couldn't get Carlson. Couldn't get Falk. But that's what happens when they're not on the block and teams don't want to give them up. We do not have that sort of uh, value yet and pull to to push people around and give them offers that they can't refuse. And that makes it a lot more challenging right here. And that's why I do like the draft restrictions. So, speaking of draft, we can still grab picks if we want to. We didn't give up any. We have, what, nine total. We can grab three more if we want. But I don't even think we can grab much. Because... We don't really have many guys unsigned. Okay, we get, oh yeah, we do. You know what, I can trade some of these guys. He's He can go. Probably get a third for that. Anyone want him? Ah, they do. Sharks, <laughs> sharks do. Of course, they don't want to get a pick. Ah, they might actually as a hopeful. Nope. Snicks is a rebuilder. They're not gonna want to give up a third, are they? Ah, all right. See, so, yeah, these guys, they do. Can I get a second for him? Uh, no, a better second, or a, yeah, or a worse second, better for someone else, wait, oh, come on, they didn't want to give one up either, that's rough, okay, hopeful, please want to give up your picks, no, why does no one want to give it, you know what, I might try to make that work, because that might be close enough, at least on this, the second, yes, that should work, they want Ivan off. Oh, really? Screw you then. Champion team will want to give it up. There we go. Come on. That should be enough. Come on. Okay, maybe. Oh, okay, just a bit off though. But I don't have any trap. Oh, wait, I do. I have an HL, right? Yeah. <laughs> Or he was a backup or something. I don't know. Either way. Sweetener. There we go. All right, we get a pick for that. That's 10 picks total. What else here? We do still want to draft. Again, we want to try to get some of that uh, sweet, sweet value here. Low top sixes. What kind of player is this guy? 71 at 20. Grinder. Hold on to him. 64 at 18. Ain't bad. Two way four. You kind of want to hold on to him. Offensive defenseman. He's gone. I don't care if he's growing well or starting well. The offensive defenseman is not is not completely necessary. I could probably get two picks for this to finish things off. Let's check how my picks are going. We have three picks in the first two rounds, so we cannot get any more from there. But we can get Matt, uh, however much we want. So three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, ten. So I can get two more. I can grab maybe a third and a four. Three and a four for this guy, maybe. I'd like to get a better three and a four, if at all possible. Don't know if it will be, but if at all possible, that's a high three, but I might be able to make it work. I don't think so, but I'm trying it anyway. Nope. A bit off though. Ooh. I don't think I have any more sweeteners. Do I? No. No more sweeteners. Yeah, I don't have any uh, forward sweeteners either, unless I free up a contract, but I'm pretty sure I'm kind of using most of them. Huh. 
Uh, maybe not the defenseman. Hold on. I do have a lot of defensemen, I think, in the AHL. And then we have our depth guy. One, two, three. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. Uh, Lash off as a sweetener. But they might have max. No, they don't have max contracts. Cool. I didn't check. Uh, that might work. Yep. Perfect. All right. So there we go. There's our trade deadline moves. We got our 12 picks for this coming draft. Pretty good. A one, two twos, three threes, or two threes, and then a f two fours. Hold on. Let me just check that. I'm actually can. I actually want to know, because I think actually I had, yeah, we have three threes now. Pretty awesome. Pretty stacked. Hopefully, it's a good beginning of the draft. We'll see. All right, so there we go. A lot of moves here at the deadline. But our lines are now set. Hopefully, our power play numbers really increase now with Burnsy up there as well. That, it should. Theoretically. <laughs> Let's see what I mean. Theoretically, our team should just be miles better. Svechikov accepted his extension. Connor Brown on waivers. No. Uh, Johansson accepted. I'm going to see you. Rasmussen, Spurgeon, Nyquist. Everyone accepted their extensions. And we were able to save a lot of money on a lot of those, too. Kronik is now fully healed. But. No spot for him. Really. So. He's going to have to sit. That's what happens. Young guys, they take a back seat. Now it's, it's, the, it's the playoff push. Loss right there, but we get a point. So we, since acquiring Burns, we have not lost in regulation. <laughs> there we go. And we're 3 0 and 2. Was he actually out, or is that a minor injury? He was not out. Minor injury. But yeah, we should make the playoffs here. I don't see any reason why we shouldn't, though. We did lose right there 6 3 pretty handily. And then a 7-5 to five loss, we're scoring, but keeping the puck out of the net, a bit of an issue. But overall, doing well. Okay. Uh, ooh. Pretty deep on the first, but we only have one. Oh, that's what I like to see. There we go. Plenty of low elites here. Being scouted. Not being scouted. Get him scouted. For sure. Come on. Not being scouted, get scouted. I don't want to get all these dudes assigned right now. Or at least, you know, many as possible. Again, this is like closing in on our last chances here for a lot of this. Alright, that's enough for now. Keep it going. Lose that game in a shootout. Man, our shootout lineups for some reason. We have so many close games. We're still doing well. Hmm. Tough losses in the shootouts, man. How many sh freaking shootout losses in that? In the Dude! Win in a shootout. Holy hell. We cannot win. Oh, man. Actually lost a lot of games towards the end here. Not excited about that. But we still had a really good season. Okay, lost in O. Dude, we cannot get it done in OT or the shootout. Like, period. That is... Terrible. <laughs> okay, 47, 27, and 8. Not a tremendous season, but we're not, not a tremendous team yet. I think I might be expecting a little too much. 102-point season, though. Second in the division. Not bad for a team like this. We're going to be facing... Oh, good, Toronto. Going to be facing Toronto in the first round. Overall, great season. Can't hate it. You know what? Let's... Uh, I don't, no, it's not, yeah, I don't know if it's, is it over for everyone? Oh, good, Witkowski is pretty much done. Not that that matters too much, but still. I gotta find just the best guy to fill in here. There you go. Get in there. Alright. Come on, give me my playoff matchup, that's all I want right now. There we go. I just wanted it to end for everyone there. Okay. So there we go. Playoffs against Detroit. And now we can check all the stats and everything. I'm a little curious about our goals for and goals against. Our goals for... Yeah, our goal, it actually got worse. 
It's been getting, continuing to get, I thought it would be better. I thought if we spread out a lot of those players, it would be better, but it's not really. That's pretty rough. But again, we didn't have that many options. That was our one, our one option there. And I was hoping it would increase our scoring, which neither one of them really seemed to work. Penalty kill still good. Thank you. That's awesome. Yeah, 4-3-3 three and three to end the season. Not great. It was, ugh, we couldn't win in a shootout. Or an OT. That was part of the reason. I think it might have to do with our freaking goalie. Uh, he's been getting worse and worse and worse. I mean, we've tried to do things to improve him. I know we don't have the best defense, but he started out good and just continued to be bad as things went on. I mean, we'll check that right now. But anyway, Larkin, top of the team in scoring. 80 points, point a game guy. 27 goals, 53 assists. Mantha, 78 points. Not quite a 40 goal score. But Jack Hughes, 70 points, 40 goals, 30 assists. What a sophomore season for Jack Hughes here. Johansson actually had a 60-point year. Zadina with a 58-point year. Almost got that 60. More of a playmaker. Uh, Goose with 52 points. Rasmussen, 46. Keep in mind, this guy is a fourth liner. Svechnikov didn't quite get the 40 points. He really kind of dropped off there. Oh, well. Some solid production, minuses in a lot of different places, which you can't love, but whatever. Burns was still a minus when he got here. Uh, I'm pretty sure he had 36 points or 34 points when he got here, so 10 or 12 points in a... Oh, he is missing, like, yeah. So, mm. Yeah, so he did have less games played than everyone else, but still, in that stretch right there, like 20 games did we have? 10 to 12 points, not bad. Yeah, not too bad. But playoffs. Well, we'll see what he does in the playoffs for us as well. Yeah, dude. Dubnik just kept getting worse. <laughs> he was doing so good. And then he wasn't. <laughs> Rough. Well, yeah. I mean, I wanted him to stick around average. He didn't stick around average. He kept getting worse and worse and worse, which sucks. To say the least. Uh, Subban at least got the points that we wanted out. Look how many overtime losses, man. Didn't have any clutch. No clutch to get things done. Svech was the only rookie. No way he's in the Calder race. But there you go. I want to check one thing on this team. Do we love each other? Not a whole lot. <laughs> no, not enough people sticking up for each other. Oh, excuse me. Let's check out the league now. So, Sagan, 90 points. All right. I think I made my son. So, someone guessing Sagan there. So, there you go. 90-point year for Tyler Sagan. Line A with 87. Less of a scoring year in general, which uh, is kind of rough when you look at our goalie stats. But good when you look at our goals for. So, there you go. All right. Goal scoring. Yeah, he did lead in that as well. But Ovi did get 45. So, great. another great scoring year for Ovi. But still, 48 for Sagan. He is taking home a lot of hardware this year. Uh, Shifley with 60 assists on the year. Kyle Connor just below. Yep. Get the feed line A. Look at those plus minuses. Line A, Shifley, and Connor. Look at that. Yep. And then Sagan, Ben Radulov. So there's your lines right there. <laughs> there's those top lines. Shot takers. Kravtsov. Oh, my goodness. So you couldn't get good for me in New York. And then this. Oh, pfft. 81. Fuck right off. <laughs> he just has almost a 40 goal a year. I don't get that. I, I play him on like second line. Where were they playing? Oh, first line. Okay, that's what you have to do. Play him on the first line out of nowhere. Bull crap. <laughs> anyway, um, shooting percentage wise, Sagan. Oh, above and beyond everyone else. Yep. Who's the most clutch? Line A with 11 game winners. That's one for four of his goals are game winners. Power play goal leader, OV with 15. Power play point leader, Sagan with 28. All right, shorties. Uh, Nash with three shorty goals. How many shorty points? Five for Brandon Sutter on the caps. Good for you. All right. Now let's check this out. O'Reilly, okay. Selkie O'Reilly, pack, pack it in, doesn't matter, No, nothing else fucking matters, that is ridiculous, yeah, he's, if he's a plus player, he's a Selkie winner, essentially, Christ, <laughs> I 
<laughs> what is face-offs in this? They're only 88. What? They're only 88. How is he doing so good? Craziness, man. Jeez. All right. Let's just go. Hot Sambacho. 70-point year. Minus 15, though. So John Carlson, the unnamed, the whiner. I'm going to skate to my bench when the puck's in the D zone. And then talk shit about other defensemen nominated for the Norris. <laughs> because clearly I'm the best at defense. I think this should go to John Carlson here. Yep. Oh, yeah, no question. No question. This is going, this has got to go to John Carlson above anyone else. Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't see any, any reason it should go to anyone else there. Goaltenders, but, you know, Shabbat did lead the league in points there. Goaltenders. Oh, huh? What? Holy hell! Okay, Simeon Varlamov. Um, cool. Like, I think it just fucked up everyone's uh, guesses, but good for you for having a ridiculous season. Eleven shutouts in sixty-two games played. 0.936 a percentage 1.84 yeah because that's logical for mr varlamov there good for you <laughs> oh my goodness all right rookies uh kyler yamamoto what a rookie season 65 point rookie season at age 22 bokefist with 53 points at age 20 wow pretty damn good for kyler you know he's still a minus welcome to the oilers kid Welcome to the Oilers. There's never, ever, ever going to be a rookie goaltender who steals it away, even though, even if they deserve it. But I like checking anyways. I just like looking. Uh, Shostorkin, pretty solid rookie year on a rebuilding type team. He might, you know, might be a decent starter. We'll see. Uh, Samsonov, decent rookie season. Not even, mm, not a good record, but the Caps should still be good. Odinger, though, very good was traded to LA from the stars so okay Dallas you might want to you might regret that he's looking like he'll be a pretty solid number one. Oh, what am I doing I didn't want to oh I didn't want to exit why do I, I for some reason my muscles just tell me to press B and I shouldn't ever press B from that screen anyway fun stats that's it just the fun stats hits no, people need to break 200. Luke Coonan with 192. And fights. Dotchin with 12. Only one guy over 10 this year. Soft. Soft league. Soft league. <laughs> All right, so there you have it. And now we move on to the playoffs. Weirdly, didn't think this would happen, but we're doing it. We are doing it. And you know what? We're facing the Leafs. So, uh, eh, I don't know. Are they any better at getting past the first round in this game? Maybe. Okay, that's scary. Marner, Matthews, Nylander, Kadri, Tavares, Paton, Marlowe, Sharnik, Timoshov. Not the most deep of teams, but you got to respect that offensive prowess. I don't think that's scouted right. <laughs> but we'll see. You would not want to put Lilgren with Riley. No, that seems like a terrible idea, but they still... Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. Anderson went to free agency. Oh, they don't have Freddie Anderson. You know what? We got a chance. We got a chance in this series. We just need a score. We haven't been great on defense, but maybe it all comes together right now. I don't think so. This is going to be tough no matter what. But we, I'd say our depth scoring depth is slightly better, and I'd say our defense is slightly better. And we, on paper, we have the better goaltender. So Dubnik, we need him to come up clutch here in the first round. Detroit, let's go. First year back in the playoffs. We might, we might even be a competitive team next year. You never know. All right. Game one. What do we got? Come on. Oh, my goodness. Seven to three loss in game one. Yikes. Yikes. <laughs> 
<laughs> Toronto turning on the offensive guns. Game two. We have home ice too. Yeah, Little Caesars Arena. Not too happy about that. Game two response. There it is. Five to three victory. Not able to keep the puck out of the net super well, but we're able to outscore them that game. Tied series, uh, one game apiece. It's got to be at least a fun series to watch. Maybe not for the coaches, but for all the spectators. Two, a two to one win in overtime to guarantee the split on the road and a two to one series lead. All right, can we get another one here in the garden? Why did I say the garden? What the hell am I talking about? Uh, oh, good. Devin Dubnik's been injured coming back on the 24th. Oh, no. That sucks because we actually don't really have any. That actually hurts our AHL more than anything. He does have to clear waivers, too. I don't think he'd be claimed, though. God damn it. That was the last thing, I, especially after trading a goalie who was signed. I was like, okay, let's not have a goalie injury. But we did. We did. Suman had to come in there. Oh, we had... You got the win in it. What the hell? Hmm. Anyway, so Terry is now the backup. Poor AHL. Don't know what the hell they're going to do. But we got to cheat you. So there you have it. Well, Malcolm. You got the Scott Foster stats right now. Minus the win. Or, well, adding in the win. Oh my god, we won. Now that must have been... Hmm. Yeah, the injury should have come after that. So, wow. Two overtime wins in a row. We're going to get back on home ice to win the series. Yeah, we need this. We actually need a win right here because we need Dubinik back. Subban, though, what do you got? What do you got? Game five with a chance to end it on home ice. We did it. We beat the Leafs in five games. We are on to the second round. Holy hell. Okay. Wait, oh yeah. All right, please don't get claimed, Sateri. Oh, thank God. <laughs> I don't think he hasn't. We've done it before, but you never know. It is the playoffs. All right, Dubnik, get back in there. And you know what? Subban, he did really well. Doing much better than Dubnik. I think I'm going to run with Subban here. I think so. I mean, look at Dubnik. Look what he's doing. He's doing his trash. Subban jumped in there and got the job done. Look at that. Look at those stats. Try that on for size. All right. Um, get Sateri in there. He's back, boys. He's back. All right. Uh, You know what? Yeah. <laughs> Give me a sec. I think I'm going to run with Subban here. You saw that. If he struggles, we'll go back to Dubnik. It's not a big deal. We have two real, like... Let's just see what happens. Let's go full Kent Hitchcock right now. And then just switch goalies out as much as we want because it doesn't matter. It does matter, but, you know, Kent Hitchcock. That's why he lost in the conference finals, Blues. Sorry. Alrighty. Uh, I guess I could simulate day a few times so I don't have to go right back into the calendar screen. Oh, Joe Valeno is out with a mild concussion. Just mild. Just mild. Do we have... Oh, because Holmstrom's actually in there. We don't have a... Oh, we got this guy. What the fuck? Who is this? Hold on. Oh, thank God. I was like, ah, I better not be missing anyone. He's not out for super long. It's just minor. Devin Dubnik's now fully healed. Cool. Come on. Where the heck is my next series? I know we won in five, but it should be popping up now. There you go. Who we got? The Sabres. The Buffalo Sabres. Okay. Let's see how our guys did in that first round. Because uh, my Maya is pretty pretty good. Let's see how the team did first off. I think we're going to have a lot of goals against. But it got better. As time went on. Oh, man. <laughs> hey, we made it, though. Look at that power play. Almost 30%. That's what happens. If you have a mediocre power play during the season, you're going to have a killer one in the playoffs. That's just some reason how it goes. Look at the penalty kill, though. Fantastic. Two shorties for as well. That, yeah, it's the Leafs. It's the Leafs. They're probably throwing like five forwards out there. What is defense? All right. Six points for Larkin. Six points for Hughes. That's who you want. Five points for Zadina. Five points for Anthony. You Rasmussen. Oh, my God. He got two power play goals. Oh my God. He's clutch. Clutch fourth liner. Four points for Nyquist. Four for Mantha. Four for Johansson. I mean, we just got a crap ton 
of uh, scoring from everyone. Everyone had two points at least. Defensively, burnt. You know what? This is kind of why we got him. Like, he steps up in the playoffs. Yeah, I know it was a high-scoring series, but still, point of game. Minus two. That's Burnsy. That's Burnsy. Goalies, yeah. So, I think it's pretty clear we should rock Subban here to start off this next series. However, if he falters, we go right back to Dubnik. Because he is our starter. He's earned it. Well, he's earned another look, is what I'm saying. Anyway. Oh, didn't even check their lines. Buffalo Sabres. Jack Eichel and company. The young against the young here. All right, Sabres, what do you got? What's your team looking like now? What changes have you made? Skinner, Eichel, Reinhardt, Lee, Middlestat, Nylander. I kind of like that second line, although it's not the best, but they do have decent depth. Kreider, Thompson, Ocpozo, Hyman. Oh, God. They got Hyman. He's a beast. Wheel and Wilson. Uh, ooh, ho, 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 ho. That's a good defense. That's pretty much the best you can see a lot of the times out of the AI. What a defensive core. And they got Uko Pekka, who's doing fantastic in these postseasons. And Kincaid, who had to hop in and was perfect. So this is going to be a challenge. I would say they have a better top line. Sl it's close. They have uh, It's close everywhere, but their defense blows ours out of the water, and their goaltender does. So that could be the difference. If, if we can't keep the puck out of it, if Subban doesn't stand on his head, we need Subban to stand on his head, essentially, to win this series. So here we go. Round two in the Eastern Conference. Can we get by these Sabres? They have the home ice advantage. They were first in our division. And for good reason. Ah. <laughs> Come on. Trying to get this game one going. Get out of there, camper. Stop camping in Valeno's spot. There he is. Game one. Lose five to four. Tough one to swallow. We're able to score, though. That's good news. But Subban. Ugh. Game two, if, if it's another bad defensive game. Okay, three to two. You know what? We got the W. Tie the series up. Subban looks like he had a pretty good game. Keep running with him. We got the W. Keep him going. Now, we got the split. Home ice. Little Caesars Arena. Let's go, Detroit. Game three. Three to one loss. That might be an empty netter. I don't think you could blame Subban on that one, really. We didn't score. Found ways to score in every other. That one, Lucan and stole. Can't really, they guaranteed the split on our ice. Game four, do we go down three to one or do we tie the series <laughs> again? You can't blame Subban. Now Lukanen is standing on his head. Two monster road games from Uko Pekka, Lukanen. And we are now, we have backs, backs up against the wall here. Going into game five on the road. Whew, uh, all right. All right, all right, all right. What do we do? Do a switch. We're going to switch Hughes and Larkin. I think that's kind of it. God, Burns is killing it, dude. But a lot of minuses across the board here. Again, we don't have a great defensive core after, well, we have an average defensive core. Hmm. All right, Spurgeon during the year. What was your plus minus like during the year? You're a minus eight. Okay. I was thinking, or is that no? That's not playoffs. Yeah, it was. He was a plus one. I was thinking if I should keep Brodeen and Spurgeon together and like DeKaiser Burns, like try to have like. I don't think that'll work though. <laughs> so really, it's down to the team. I'm gonna put Hughes on the top line here. And. uh See if we can somehow get the job done. Somehow, some way, come back in this series. Down three games to one. On the road. In Buffalo. Come on, Detroit. Can we, sticking with Subban. It's, these, these games are not his fault. We're sticking with him. No, shut out. Ugh. All right. Yeah, we couldn't score. Uko Pekka just turned it on and would not turn it back off. That's a case of a goalie absolutely steal. That, now this game hurts because we score four goals, but they kept pace with us. That game's good. This game, it's like, we didn't do too bad, but we didn't score. That could have been an empty netter. 
This game right here, again, didn't score. I don't I don't blame Subban for that. I think he did much better than Dubnik and deserved to start that in the entirety of the series and try to see that through. Unfortunately, didn't go our way this time. Second round exit, though. You know what? Give it up. We lost to the first place team and we beat the Leafs in five. Then we lose in five, but who cares, man? We beat the Leafs. We got further than them. So that's always awesome. But that is it. That is the season for Detroit. So uh, draft will be up next. But we'll I think we can maybe keep this team competitive in the coming years. Dubinick will get worse. But I don't know. Subban did pretty good in the playoffs there. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to leave that like. And I'll see you in the next one. If watching my videos just isn't enough sin for you, be sure to go over there on Twitter and shoot me a follow. And you could even join our Discord server as well to talk with some of the other sinners out there. The links to both are in the description.